Hey babes, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Susie. If you're new, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We on the road to 5K. Help a sister out. If you're returning, what's good? What's popping poo? Y'all already know what to do. But every Friday, there's a vlog being posted. Every Wednesday, um, there's a DIY, something that I've created. So make sure y'all subscribe now. Like, what are you waiting for? So y'all, I picked these socks up literally months ago at Walmart. And I wanted to make something. I didn't know what I wanted to make, so I finally decided. And I didn't give y'all a video last Wednesday because I was so busy with work. But I'm like, I cannot give y'all one this week, too. So, I made it happen. I literally made this outfit yesterday. So, I cut the top part off, if y'all can see already. And right now, I am showing y'all the areas we're just going to sew together. So y'all, this project was fairly easy. As you can see, the top of the socks is already hemmed up for you. You didn't even have to do that part, so that's a plus. And also, y'all, look at the thread. It matched my phone. So basically, we're just going to go ahead and sew down these areas real quick. Life is good. Oh my god, I'm getting so many clients. I'm getting people inboxing me like, oh, I subscribe to your channel. I found you on YouTube. I found you on TikTok. I was wondering if you can make this, that, and the third. So y'all, these are the squares together. So now we're going to take these two and put those together like so. And of course, y'all already know your girl is recording. For social media as well so make sure y'all follow me on all social media platforms listed right in the corner um but y'all this is what's looking like y'all i don't know why i thought 40s was gonna go around my big ass booty <laughs> i'm dead no so i added four more squares um because that was definitely not enough it was enough to go around the front and my sides, I needed some for the back. But as you can see, here it is right here. So now all of those are connected and now we're just gonna sew down the side of the skirt. And y'all, um, it low key could have been done here, but my waist part was like needed to be taken in and I didn't wanna take it in and make it noticeable like where the squares was different sizes. I really didn't wanna do that. So I went ahead and took some, this is what it's looking like right here. But I went ahead and took some elastic band, measured my waist, and as you can see, now I am folding this area at the top of the skirt, like so, and pinning it. And then we want to go ahead and start sewing that. And of course, you're not going to go all the way around the dress. You want to go, I mean, you want to leave just enough right there so you can um, feed the elastic band through. I showed y'all this thousands of times, so I didn't really get 100% detail. So right here, this is where I'm leaving a little part open, as y'all can see. And I went ahead and fed that through. And y'all, this did not work. It was like, you know how the socks got so much um, extra thread and stuff coming out. I had to use a pin and put some tape around it. But right here, I am sewing the elastic band together. I actually finally got it through, so that's why I didn't really record it. And I showed y'all that already. So, yeah, make sure y'all subscribe. And this is what it's looking like. Y'all want want to go ahead and sew up the rest of that little hole that y'all left open. And once you finish that, then the skirt is finished. And then we're gonna start on the shirt. Okay, y'all, so my bestie told me to do a crop top with this. So I am using this shirt right here, and I'm just using it to cut out the areas like so. So I went ahead and did the flip over method and trying to get it somewhat symmetrical. We didn't have to cut too much off, so we're going to do the same thing to the front of the shirt. And, y'all, for this part, I, as you can see, I'm just lifting it, putting it back down, lifting it, putting it back down, so I can kind of, like, you know get the circle neck part so this is what you should have once you have done cutting it out go ahead and put those on together right sides together and pin it and sew it down y'all so after i finished sewing this part down y'all i went ahead and tried it on because i wanted to see if it could fit and i liked it the way it looked so i left the sides open i did not add the sleeves and right here i am literally just sewing down each side of the shirt so nothing comes apart i didn't want to hem it i wanted that raw look you can hem yours if you want 
but after that that is literally it and i hope y'all like this video i hope these videos help y'all create custom pieces i hope i inspire you guys but this is the final and finishing look let me know what y'all think if y'all really want to see me style this outfit make sure y'all follow me on all social media platforms shop suzy collection and i love you guys oh so much and i'm out peace